Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net, and I have a video that I am just more than happy to make. Now, before I uh, make the video or go any further, I want to stress, just in case any of uh, fans of Daddy05 want to report me to YouTube again for breaking community guidelines, I am not calling for violence on Daddy05. I am not calling for you to spam his channel. I am not calling for you to send hate mail his way or hate tweets, or hate comments. I am not encouraging any of that, and of course, I completely disown anyone who actually does these things. All I said in the last video was, if you felt, if you felt, that what those videos represented was child abuse, to report it to YouTube, which is within their guidelines, and to report it to the police if you knew it. And it looks like um, the police, unlike YouTube, actually have been very proactive in this situation. Um, according to an article by the BBC, the headline is Daddy O5 Parents Lose Custody Over YouTube Pranks. Um, and this is how the article reads. A father and stepmother in the U.S. have lost custody of two of their five children after playing pranks on them in a series of YouTube videos. The pranks included one in which their youngest son was told he had been adopted by another family. Mike and Heather Martin of Maryland denied the videos were abusive and claimed they were fake. Custody of the two children has now been returned to their biological m Emma and Cody are with me. I have emergency custody. They're doing good, said Rose Hall, who revealed in the news in a YouTube video with her lawyer, Tim Colton. They're getting back their playful selves. Uh, she added they had been very heartbreaking and disturbing to see my kids abuse. Um, and um, here's the thing. Right now, this is the only information that we know. So not all of the kids are out of the home, which is... Uh, unfortunate at this time but the fact that two of them have been taken away is a good first step at the very least especially since uh cody was the one who seemed to be abused and take the brunt of the abuse so here's the thing um i am personally happy that this happened uh because in my opinion those videos were abuse and the people who say they were fake that they weren't abuse guess what if they did nothing wrong why were they delisting their videos and trying to hide them? Doesn't make a lot of sense if you weren't doing anything wrong. The police have gotten involved and the fact that emergency custody was taken away says a lot. Now that does bring the question, what about the other three kids? Well, those kids are biological kids. They're um, the biological kids of those couple. Now, I mean, those kids can still be taken away. They are not perfectly safe. And in fact, since one pair been taken away, it's only logical that another pair will probably be taken away. That, I believe, is going to happen at some point, whether it'll be sooner or later is anyone's guess. But, uh, since they're biological, I think they have a little bit more, uh, or the parents, I should say, have a little bit more wiggle room to keep them, but it probably won't be for long. Child services will likely get involved. The reason the stepkids were taken out is because they do have a biological mother they can be returned to. And so I believe that expedited the process a little bit. But I believe the other kids will be out soon. So I'd like to thank the police for getting involved and taking concern. I'd like to thank Philip DeFranco for breaking the story um, and Boogie2988 for uh, continuing the story. I'd like to thank everyone who reported the Daddy05 channel if indeed they felt like this was abuse. Um, I know YouTube has definitely been very slow to delete the channel in fact really what why haven't they killed it by now now that the police have gotten involved and more or less concur with the viewers that this is abuse it would seem like youtube would likely follow suit but they just haven't so i i don't know what to say to that but anyway this is a good news so yeah um what do you folks think do you think this is a good step a bad step uh comp below like favorite share subscribe and as always flame responsibly and that means no death threats against me, all right? If you make any, I will report them to the police, all right? Have a good day.